My parents would say I was disruptive as a kid. I started a riot when I was in nursery school because I wanted lunch early. We want food, I believe was our slogan. My parents got called. <laughs> that was just the beginning. I'm Yale Cohen, and I'm the founder of Fuck Cancer. I don't think I ever actually understood, truly understood cancer uh, until my mom got diagnosed. First you break, and then you quickly reassemble and figure out what you have to do. Um, but I was sure as hell going to try to do everything I could to, to make it better and easier. I made mom a t-shirt after her first surgery and it was something I never thought she would wear outside of the house. Um, but she did, and people's responses were pretty astounding. And that's when we knew I should do something with this. The world does not need any more cancer organizations. Uh, it just needs smarter cancer organizations. And it was striking to me that nobody was talking to my generation about cancer, which was such a mistake because our generation teaches our parents more than any generation ever has. We teach them how to use their smartphones. We teach them everything from A to Z in pop culture. Why don't we teach them something that can save their lives? The Cancer Talk is a program we launched four years ago now. Talk to your parents about their family history so you know what cancers you're at highest risk for, what are the earliest warning signs, and make sure they're getting their annual diagnostics. It was nothing earth shattering. The idea was that your parents sat you down for the sex talk because they loved you, and now it's your turn to sit them down for the cancer talk. I actually figured I'd get cancer, I just didn't think I was going to be 36. And uh, I found you guys on Facebook. We're so glad you did. Me too. <laughs> We talk to our community like I speak to my mom, uh, and like any of us would speak to our, our loved ones, with love and compassion and patience, because we're all struggling through it together. Even though I know that everything's probably going to be OK, there's that little bit inside of you that's like, really, have to go through this again? <laughs> the most disruptive or powerful element to what we do is our authenticity, it's our honesty, our ability to be raw. Somewhere along the way we started censoring the cancer space uh, because it's uncomfortable and it's scary and it's confusing. We would all love a cure, but until that, we have to be active rather than passive. I think that by letting our community be brave and vulnerable simultaneously, uh, that's pretty disruptive.